Hi everybody and welcome back to my backyard. Today is part 2 of the Tyro 89 video and I'm gonna show you how to set up in Betaflight and BLLE so if you are a beginner you can actually make it work and if you have questions ask them in the comments and I will finally make the review of it because I will show you how it flies and also right now you are seeing the 3 inches props because I tested 3 inches props as well. So let's get started. First of all you have to download Betaflight and download the drivers it says in the main page, otherwise it won't connect. Then plug in your USB and connect the drone. And you will find the setup page where you can calibrate your accelerometer with the quad standing flat on a surface. Really easy. And you shouldn't do it, it does it by itself. Then ports, it's already selected for cellular X, so it's what we want. Motor, motor direction reverse is important because we are running with the motor direction reversed. Arming 180 allows you to arm upside down and receiver is another important tab and it's already configured for SBUS. And then everything else is fine, stock. Save and reboot every time, otherwise it won't save what you change. Then we go in the receiver tab and you need to connect your radio right now. Okay, now we connected the radio but it's, you see it's spinning crazy, because in the channel map it's E-A-A-T-R and we need to put T-A-E-R. And now you can see the quad answers right to my channels. But um, it depends on your radio actually, you have to fiddle with it until it, it works fine. You, you have to know what uh, channel map you are running basically. But remember there is always the option to change. And then you can select the modes, like how to arm, and if you leave it on auto and you press the switch on your radio while it's connected, it will uh, identify the channel by itself, as you can see. And I suggest you to put an arm mode, so when you press the button the quad arms, and then horizon, angle and acro. I do like that, and I, I did it like that the first time and I still do like that, even if I only use acro and sometimes angle, I never use horizon, but it's something I always do. You, you can do however you like, basically. You press the buttons and <laughs> it works. Also, another cool thing is the flip over after a crash. Uh, if you land upside down, you can press a button to reverse the spin of your motors and flip the drone upside down. Also, they select the always enable uh, air mode, so you can uh, switch also between horizon, angle, and acro. Otherwise it will be always acro. Perfect, and now air mode is acro basically. And we selected that as well. These other tabs like adjustment servos, you can leave them. And now we need to configure the OSD and it's the on-screen display you get when you connect your goggles. And I suggest you leaving the warnings and putting also voltage in and a timer so you know how much, how many minutes you've been flying basically. And it's pretty straightforward. You just have to look around for stuff because there are so many invoices. And then I suggest you turning on your VTX and actually seeing in your goggles how everything moves because um, the format can change actually and uh, like, like that I'm putting stuff on the screen and in my goggles it was at the bottom of the screen. So keep that in mind. And now I'm looking for stuff like, okay, battery voltage. And I just put it there. So I have a nice overlay of what's happening and I know where to, when to land. And always remember to save. Then we go into the motors tab and remember to freaking remove your propellers. I don't want anyone to cut their fingers on this. And... Um, here you should connect your battery and you have to select I understand the risk and I have removed the propellers, please do. And then you click it there and you can start powering your motors. And here we have to see if the motors are spinning the right way because if they are not, we should go to BLLE and change the direction of that motor or we can desolder the motor. But in this case of the Tyro 89, motors are connected by... Um, plugs and it's not possible. We have to reverse via BLLE. In fact, motor, I think, uh, motor 1 and 2 were, or 2 or 3 were not spinning the right way. And so I had to go into BLLE and change it. Okay, you can download BLLE from uh, the internet and 
The drivers are the same as Betaflight, so you don't need to reinstall them. Connect your drone, and now it's not, it's without battery. In fact, it's not reading the setup. Connect the battery now, and when you read setup, it will not arm your ESCs. That's important, because it won't spin the motors. So plug in and read setup again, it will read your ESCs and as you can see I already changed it, the motor 1 and motor 3 to reversed and that allows it to, re to spin the right way. And then write setup to save. If you do flash all you can update your ESCs and I don't suggest you messing up with that, they are fine as they come. And then you can disconnect once and done and that's it. And today is another day. Yesterday it was raining super hard, I couldn't fly, but I spent the evening basically troubleshooting why it didn't work and it was not connecting to my radio because on the FC there is a small pad you have to short out to select PPM or SBUS and I didn't notice it. Actually I didn't even know that something like that has existed, there are no instructions again. But now you know and you won't be scratching your head for three hours like I did. And in the meantime, I basically updated it via Betaflight and I did all of the stuff and now it should fly really good. It's on stock settings and let's see how it goes and how it flies. I am so excited to try it. And you just saw how it flies, and I gotta say, it flies really good, it has stock propellers, stock settings, stock everything, I'm flying a 450mA um, 4 s battery, and I feel really comfortable flying it, and I feel in control, and that's a good feeling with a, with a drone. And the power is balanced, I will not say that the power is crazy, because it doesn't punch really hard, like, I have this right here, you know, the Dyson X, and this thing, when you punch, it shoots in the in stratosphere. This one is more balanced and that's weird because this has bigger motors and the only difference is the props. This thing has 2.5 inches and these are 3 inches and the motors are bigger in this one so they should spin faster. Because here we have 1105 5000 kV and here we have 1204 6000. Maybe with 4000 kV or 5000 kV this thing will fly a lot more punchy, you know, but it's good. And that leaves me wondering, what happens if I take this and the motors don't get hot at all and I put a 3 inch prop on it because it fits? And now I'm really curious about that, because it may be flying like a rocket, I don't know, let's try. And look at this, <laughs> it has 3 inch props, they fit perfect, I mean they almost scrape <laughs> the, the canopy. But it should work, you know, and let's see how it goes. Now you saw what happens if you put 3 inch propellers on it and probably needs a better tune but I don't know it feels kinda better I didn't test it a lot maybe these props are not the best because I found out that this uh, Gemfan uh, 3016 props works a lot better and for uh, higher KV motors even better they are light and low, low angle so they spin up a lot quicker and they really give you that push and these props are terry terry and it's a bit too much for 4S 6000 kV. 
but it still flies good and it needs just a better tuning. So, wrapping up this review. This drone, I really like it. It's super cheap and actually it's one of the cheapest I've seen with 4S capability and 3 inch capability. And that's a lot. Super small form factor, 115. It uh, weighs 75 grams, built like this. And I have a quite heavy antennas right here. Really good. Good 20 ampere stack. Nice FC, I like it. And the camera is great. The only thing is the VTX. I don't like it because it's 25 milliwatts. They could have raised the price like by five bucks and give you a 200 milliwatts. They are so cheap right now. Even a 400 milliwatts because hey, I have four, I have a full range here. I have a long range here, and just 25 milliwatts don't cut it because you saw I went behind those line of trees and I got a little bit crunchy signal and it's not the best. Motors are good. I'm surprised they don't eat up a lot. Even with uh, these angry props on 6000 kV, which means something to me. And this drone is also good to harvest components from it, because being so cheap, you, I mean, you want to build a 2.5 inch um, cine whoop, you can. You get the frame, and then you get this drone, and you harvest the components and you put them there. Another odd thing is the placement of the components. This board right here, it's cool, the ESC board, it's 2x2. Two it has these connectors and it also has pads to solder motors on, so you can put bigger motors on it. And you can even build a 3 inch cine whoop out of this because it's 20 amperes EFC. Not bad. But the weird thing is the EFC gets stuck in, in, into the canopy. And that's weird <laughs> because I've never seen anything like that. And that makes a bit of issue to rework this, but really it's 20 by 20 and the bottom mount is 20 by 20, so just put some razors and you will be good. The only thing is, you have to rotate your uh, flight controller in beta flight, or you have to rotate the ESC board to align the holes. And that's it! Really good drone, if you want it, you will get a discount in the description, so check it out. And as always, thank you for watching, and stay safe, and happy flying!